so we need a thin sheet of something we can slip between the points to check when they actually open. What Jenkins? A cheese slice. No Jenkins. Cheese slice is 83,000 thick. It's too thick. What we need to use is something like a cigarette paper. Anyway, what? No, you can have it back after the video. Hello, welcome to Tweez Garage, where in this video I'm going to be showing you how to time the magneto, or a magneto, up on an engine, uh, specifically on my Riley. Um, there's, there's two ways of uh, doing it. Some are timed at fully advanced ignition, um, but for the Riley it's set at fully retarded, so it's at top dead centre. You set the timing on the magneto. Um, why do you need to do this? Well, on, on more recent vehicles with distributed ignition, you, 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 you just set the timing to a point and, and that was it. You didn't have to worry about advanced retard because it was all set by the uh, advanced retard mechanism in the distributor. But on earlier cars and motorcycles, you yourself, the driver or rider, would adjust the timing to, to suit the situation. So when you're starting a vehicle on a car, you, you'd adjust it by the lever in the car to move the uh, timing from advanced to retarded. So you'd start it retarded. Uh, on a motorbike, you'd, you'd have a lever on the handlebar that you can move to advance and retard the ignition. Uh, the reason being because when the spark ignites the fuel it takes a while to expand and uh, you know com start compressing the getting the power and starting to compress the piston back down again when the engine's running slow um, you don't want that to happen before the pistons got to nearly the top of its stroke. You want it to get to the top or sometimes just over. So when that explosion happens and it pushes the piston down, the engine's going in the right direction. The trouble with not doing it when you start an engine, if you have it fully advanced, um, you know, it's normal running timing. When the explosion happens, it, it sort of happens because the engine's running slow. It has time to happen before the piston has got to the top of its stroke. So there's the danger of the piston being belted back down the wrong way, back down. Um, not such a problem on a car, they just backfire and that'll be it. But on a motorcycle, you know, you can break your ankle on some big singles if you get it wrong and they kick back. That's why they call kickbacks. So the piston's going the other way and it doesn't ratchet on the kickstart, but it just flings the kickstart rope up and, and can damage your leg. So yeah, and then when the when the car's running, the the engine's running faster, so the time that the explosion takes to happen is uh, getting further around when the you know the engine as the piston comes up, the explosion happens, but the power happens further around the piston comes further down. So you need to advance the ignition. You need to make it happen earlier on the stroke of the piston coming round. So you advance it, although it sort of goes backwards or goes earlier so that when that explosion happens, the piston will get closer to the top before the power of the uh, explosion happens and then sends the piston back down the other way. That's the best way I could describe it. Um, yeah, that's it. So we're going to have a look and set the magneto ignition on fully retarded on this. On my Norton, you set it fully advanced. It, it, it just differs engine to engine, okay? So let's go and have a look. So next we need to turn it to number one, top dead center. So I've got my dial indicator on my little um, mounting, spark plug mounting that I made. It's got an air hole in it. So I can hear when it's coming up to top dead center on number one. It should be coming around in a minute. There you go. I can hear it hissing through. And about there. And to confirm that, you can take the caps off and just 
check you've got play on the exhaust rocker and the inlet rocker which we have so it's at number one top dead center so with the number one cylinder set to top dead center i'm ready to uh time my magneto i've disconnected the um, advanced retard linkage for it um, if you've removed your magneto and um, are putting it back in you need to roughly time it so the way you do that is this is number one cylinder and um, this is roughly where your contact point is in the bottom of your distributor cap it will be this one here so what you need to do to align the gears when you drop the magneto in you need to mesh the gears and, and get it in the right spot so what you, it takes a few times trial and error moving the gear around one tooth dropping it in and seeing where it spirals and lines up to but this is where you want it to sit so roughly in line with this screw over here and that's ready to fire on number one cylinder next thing to do is just check your points gap um, I've got a little keeper that I made Here when turning the engine over or turning the magneto over until just setting the points um, because they advise not to turn magnetos over not to spin them over when they're not under load when they're not connected up normally if um, you're feeling around you your magneto is normally earthed through the magneto switch and this contact in the in the center here of this uh, this uh, con um, contact breaker cover so because we've got that removed to get access to the points i'll just put a little keeper in whilst i'm turning the magneto over um, because some say you can damage the windings i think the speed you're turning it over just to set the points is probably not a problem but you know if you turn the engine over quite a bit maybe put a keeper in there until you really need to get in here so points are in here easily adjusted lock washer on the uh, lock nut on the back and then a little uh 
hex head here to move the point contact up and down. So, so just move it round so it's open at its highest point around there. And we need to set it, I've got it written down in my book, to 12 thou for the magneto. If you've got a distributor, it will be different. It'll be slightly wider on the plug gap. But for magneto points and um, plug gap, that's what they are. So, got 12 thou. Feel the gauge. There, and they're a little bit big. So loosen off the lock nut at the back. And then just the seat out slightly. I think we're about there. It starts to open it. Just a touch. And then do the long nut back up again. <coughs> and move on to timing it. And the size of the nuts for your information are 2BA. And the bolt for holding the points plate in is 1BA. Some magnetos, the points plate is, a, is on a, a tapered shaft, so you can actually position it roughly to the point that it's meant to be, just by um, moving it slightly on the shaft. But on these BTH magnetos, it's on a keyed shaft. So the only, the only adjustment you've got is moving the whole body of the uh, magneto on the engine. So the old way of doing it is uh, use a cigarette paper, uh, other papers are available, and uh, just stick that in between the contacts. Like so, hold on to it. And we want to keep the um, advanced retard fully retarded. And then move the magneto around just a slight pull on the cigarette paper till it releases about there and then you can tighten the magneto down another way to do it would be the bulb and battery like you do on a uh, coil and points ignition system. But you can't do it on a magneto because the ignition circuit uh, and the primary winding the magneto armature are all wired in parallel and the current will always find the easiest path. So it doesn't matter whether the points are open or closed, the bulb will always be on. So you can't use that technique for a magneto. But you can use a little black box this is from the Magneto guys, no affiliation with them. I just sort of set, thought it sounded like a good idea because um, I can use it on my bikes as well. It's just a little box of tricks that you connect across the points. So with the Magneto light, timing light connected to either side of the points and turned on with the uh, advanced retard lever set fully retarded 
and just uh, holding a bit of uh, trying to keep the backlash out of the magneto just turn it round until the light comes on and that's now timed at top dead centre and you just bolt your magneto up connect your lever up and off you go So there you go, how to set a magneto ignition on a Riley, but applies to other engines as well. Um, hope that was helpful. See you in another video. Till then, cheerio. Jenkins, don't forget your cheese slice. My name is Tallulah. Interesting fact, this has been in the workshop for four days on the side. A mouse hasn't eaten it and it hasn't gone off. So we, so we, hmm. so we need a thin sheet of something that we can... We'll distribute electric...